Okay, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Brain Logic and really interesting challenge today we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 plus 5. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your calculators away and write your option down into the comment section, right here we have three option A, B and C, so choose one option, what do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video. So seems pretty basic problem, we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 plus 5. We have addition, division, addition, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now I want to show you this first interpretation. So a lot of students solve this question like that. I just wanted to rewrite it. We have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 and plus 5. So here is our challenge. And a lot of students start with this left hand side. We have 20 plus 10 on the left hand side. We have 30, yeah? 30. We still have this expression. So 30 divided by 2 and plus 5, yeah? We have 30 divided by 2 once more on the left hand side, which is equal to 15, yeah? And 15 plus 5 which is equal to which is equal to 20. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say that correct answer is option A. A lot of students don't know about order of operation and they solve this question like that. They solve this question absolutely randomly from left to right and they don't know about order of operation. Because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer. So in terms of math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, okay? So for this question let's solve this question with this second interpretation. And But in this second interpretation let's apply this order of operation for example, PNDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world, all scientific, graphing calculator, all professional calculators work according to PNDMC. So right now let's solve this question according to this order of operation. But before, let's rewrite it. So right here we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 and plus and plus 5. Okay, here's our challenge. Right here, here is our question and let's go at this PMDMC. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so parentheses is the highest priority, addition, subtraction, the lowest priority. So let's go ahead and apply this PMDMC. So first of all, parentheses at first. Okay, let's scan where do we have parentheses. I don't see any of those, so we just skip this part. We don't have parentheses. What about exponents? Let's scan where do we have maybe cubes, fourth power, tenth power. I don't see any of those. We don't have any power, so we just skip this exponent part, which is really great as well. What about the next step? The next step, multiplication division group. Okay, let's scan where do we have multiplication division sign. Let's look at it. So right here we have the addition. We are not interested in this. But right here we have addition sign in the middle. And it's really important division sign. Yeah, We don't have multiplication. We find our division sign at first. So this is our first step to divide the expression inside this e expression in the middle. Yeah, so 10 divided by 2 is our first step. And as you can see, completely different approach with this one. Because before we just add it first, then divide, then add. This is really bad in terms of math. But right now let's divide this in the middle. So we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 equal to 5. And we still have this addition by 5. We have plus 5. So right now we don't need our order of operation. We have addition, of course. Yeah, we have it. This is our second step. But we don't need to, to go to look at this PMDMC because this is like a basic addition. So everyone can handle this. This is like a basic addition. We have looks like 30. Yeah, we have our answer is is 30. This is option C. Yeah, we have this option right here. But right now, um, this is a very important moment because a lot of students confused what is the correct answer, 20 or 30. One part of student tell that correct answer is 20. Another part of student tell correct answer is 30. This is really important, uh, a really important uh, moment because you should understand that in math we can, can't solve this question randomly. And this is our randomly solution. We just add it first, then divide, then add. This is really bad in terms of math. With parentheses, this this is great start because then you should add inside parentheses, which is our first step. Yeah, and then you should add at first, then parentheses has the highest priority, then you should add inside these parentheses. This should evaluate the expression inside parentheses, okay? And right here we don't have any parentheses, so forget about this option A. This is a very bad solution and I hope you don't choose this option A, which is really bad in terms of math. Let's look at this option. We have uh, correct order of operation. Yeah, we start with this division, we start, we, we end with this addition, which is, which is really, really great. So division is all the time before addition, which is maybe the main rule right here, so don't forget about it. If you have expression without, with uh, division in the middle, in the 
beginning on the left or multiplication sign and then addition and then a lot of addition and subtraction so firstly evaluate the expression with multiplication and division sign this is really important moment so definitely don't feel bad if you get this wrong if you made this error i'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again you'll be like okay now i get it so let's go ahead and apply the order of operation and you'll get better at this through through practice uh, and uh, you can easily check this question in your scientific or graphing calculator but don't use a regular calculator because you know some calculator work with problem as you type it in so for example you plug in this 20 plus 10 and the calculator give you 30 yeah but because calculator don't know about um, a division uh, further okay you should you should plug in the whole entire problem and then a calculator okay now i get it so we have division then we have addition from left to right because your calculator is smart enough to know the order of operation Okay, let's write our answer. Here's our challenge. Very tricky moment. I hope you choose a correct answer to this challenge, which is which is really great. So this is option. Option C is a correct answer. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I wish you all the best. See you in the next videos and take care.